Good evening, I am back in my bed, in my family home. Oh my God, I am so happy to be here. I did get here yesterday and I was meant to vlog yesterday, but I've got quite a long story which I'll fill you in on. So basically I was meant to get my flight on Monday at like 5 a.m. and then Sunday night I had a mental breakdown, but you know, I was kind of due one because I hadn't had one in ages. Did cry on the phone to my mum for about four hours and missed my flight because I had to get up like 4 a.m. to get this flight. It was not happening. And then had another mental breakdown because I missed my flight and that really stressed me out. I've never missed a flight before. That was the first time. Wouldn't recommend it. Like the anxiety it gave me was really not worth it. Managed to get a flight later on that day. Did cry the whole way on the plane here, but that was because I was watching Grey's Anatomy. That wasn't because I was having another breakdown. Came home. My mum had made me one pot pasta. John came around because you're allowed to have people indoors now and my mood just went Ooh. my mood went that emoji do you know what i mean i then went to tesco's and got my tv toaster and kettle because obviously i'm kind of like buying all the furniture i don't get my keys till friday morning and it's tuesday now so i'm just kind of like getting my last few bits i've been like ordering stuff to my family home this entire time because i i don't know if i made that clear i move in on friday i'm being quiet because my sister's sleeping um i've only really done the kitchen and my bedroom i haven't done like the living room or the spare bedroom yet because obviously it's not really necessary at the minute but yeah this is like all the boxes i've just been like piling it up in my spare bedroom and then i'm gonna bring it all in a van to my house on friday even though my house is literally like two streets away <laughs> I bought a house two streets away from my family. Like, what the fuck? I never thought I'd be that girl, but this has really proved that I'm a home girl. Uh, here I am with Tigger. Take this spare bed. It's Tigger's bed. Like, we literally don't have any guests. Like, no one stays in this bed apart from Tigger. Anyway, yeah, so I thought I'd bring you along with me for the next few days. Because I'm, I'm a busy, busy girl. Today is my sister's birthday. My sister's birthday today. I need to give her her present. And then we're going for breakfast with my nana and papa. And then we're going to Ikea. Getting all the bits and bottles from my house from Ikea. Then, I'm going for a Thai massage. Who am I? I don't, I, I did get a massage once. I got a back massage once from like my 14th birthday. It was pretty incredible. Uh, so I'm really excited to get one today. And it's a Thai massage, which I've never had before. And then we're all going out for dinner for my sister's birthday. And then I'll probably see John and have a sleepover. I did have a sleepover with John last night. I love him because I want to marry him. This next part of the video is really kindly sponsored by Cotton On. They are a clothing brand. They also do like swimwear, activewear, etc, etc. They're actually like an Australian brand with like they originated it, I think, in Australia because I remember my sister used to live in Australia and she would always talk about Cotton On and how amazing it was and I was always so jealous because they didn't really have it in the UK. But now they have it in the UK and I'm so happy because it is so, so nice. I like... I am so excited to try this stuff on for you. We've, I've kind of gone for like more of like a summer edit. So I picked up a lot of bikinis, like cover up shirts and shorts, etc. These bikinis are so nice. And I'm actually gonna do a bit of a try on haul for you because like I think you need to see how a bikini sits on someone if you wanna get it. And yes, I am very self conscious, but I don't even care because these bikinis are fucking beautiful. You're gonna be obsessed with them. They're also made from very responsible materials. They are 85% recycled material. That's amazing. So I'm gonna do a quick try on haul, but also if you want to shop any of these bikinis, I will leave the link in my description. This is one of the nicest bikinis I've ever worn on my body. It's got this little like balconette thing here, which is actually quite good for if you are as flat chested as me. I actually cannot get over this pattern. Wow, I don't really wanna show you like my bum because uh, again, we're, we're pretty much working with nothing there. But it's got this little like the roche thing in the middle, which I love because it, I mean, again, it does make you look like you've got a bit of something, something going on. I have probably a pair of this, just like denim shorts. So I love these ones because they're kind of like frayed at the bottom. I much prefer a frayed to like a roll up one. These are an amazing fit, lovely quality of denim. Oh my gosh. Can I go on holiday right now, please? Okay, now this one's very fun. It's like a bit of a different shape. Yeah, I think this is really cute. So for this cover up, I think I'd go denim shorts. I got this like big oversized dad shirt. It's got a bit of pink in it as well, so I feel like it'll go. This wee orange dad cap. Guys, am I going to the beach? I'm literally, I'm on the beach right now. The toes, the sand is in my toes. This is making me so excited for summer. Is it making you excited for summer? Again, a wee colourful one. Can't go wrong with a colourful bikini. Makes you look really tan. It's got that like waffle material. Oh, I love it. I actually mix and match this one. This isn't a matching set, but the world is your oyster when it comes to bikinis. Oh my God, it matches. For this, I would wear like these. What material is that? Guys, I can't, can't quite think at the minute, but I love these shorts. And then I would wear this orange shirt, which if you're a diehard, you would know I wore a shirt really like this to O Beach in Ibiza and it was Lewis's, I had to borrow it, but now I have one of my own and I love it. I would pair it with this wee yellow hat. I'm in O Beach Ibiza right now. Next up we've got a plain black bikini, can't go wrong, no, I'm not gonna lie. 
This one is very cheeky from the back. In fact, I could not turn around right now or I would get demonetized. This, this kind of thong cut, I feel like it's very much girls holiday. This is not one for a family holiday. Well, you know what, it can be if you want. For a black bikini, I would usually pair it with a pair of black denim shorts. These ones are really fun, they're like quite long. I love big shorts with the wee tiny top. I think it's so cute. I need to give my sister her birthday present. Basically, I had like no idea what to get her and I was on the phone to her last week. And I recently got uh, a Pangaea hoodie. It's that blue hoodie. You might have seen me wear it in a few TikToks recently, but I'm obsessed with it. Not mind you, fucking it's so expensive. They're 117 quid, I think, for a hoodie. And then I was wearing it on this FaceTime to my sister and she was like, oh my God, I love your hoodie so much. She's like that Pangaea one. Like I've seen it in orange, but it's too expensive. Like I could never spend that much money on a, on a hoodie. And as she was speaking, I was like checking out a Pangaea because I had no fucking idea what to get her. So this is blessing in disguise. Um, so this is the hoodie. I'm gonna go give it to her and I hope she likes it and then we'll go out for breakfast. I'm getting impatient babes. I'm starting to go a bit red. She came down. I was like oh by the way can I video you getting your present? She was like not like this. Now she's gone upstairs for another half an hour. Blue drying her hair. Bitch. These bitches. Bitches be tripping. To me this is the best apple juice. I don't like cloudy apple juice. I also don't like apple juice from a glass. I only like it from the bottle which is a bit of a violation of the rest of my family but Watch my sister literally come down here in like a full beat with like a cut crease and a nude glossy lip. My jumper's a wee bit dirty. Oh dear, I must have spilled some beans on it. I, I can't wear anything without spilling beans on it. It's really bad. <laughs> Thing. I don't, I can't, I, I can't read. Oh! <laughs> hey! Oh my god. What? Oh, I can't believe you got me that. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yes, baby. <laughs> I want some attention. Happy not blanket. sober birthday to you. How funny is you know Lewis had to get, when he was younger, he had to get a not birthday present. Like when it was one of his siblings pre uh, birthdays, he would have to get a present too. <laughs> right, okay, we've just got out of Ikea and, oh, there's so many people here. There's teens, I'm scared of teens. <laughs> we just packed the car, it's pretty full. We did quite well. I didn't vlog it because it, was, it wasn't like a wee fun trip to Ikea where you're like just redecorating a room. It was like, I had to get like a sieve. Do you know what I mean? It was just, it was stressful because then I, you forget what you need. So now we're gonna quickly head and have a quick look at the house, see how it's going, see what's getting on. Uh, I think it is pretty much basically done. They, they were just putting on the carpets yesterday. There might already be a house tour up because I'm thinking of doing the house tour first, but um, yeah, we'll have a wee sneak peek and see how it's going. But obviously all the floors are covered, so it looks quite unfinished. We've just come, this is the floor I went for. I went for a wooden, it's like, it's still a tile though. It's not actual wood. And this is the kitchen. This is the living room, got wee bay windows, still haven't got the living room, the sofa for there. And this is my bathroom. It's got, I went for this like creamy beige tile, nice big shower. I asked for an extra big shower because I love an extra big shower. This is, this is my, oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. it. It's so nice. Like these, I've always dreamed of having a skylight window bedroom. I completely was like fluking it. Like I obviously like picked everything. I picked all the like colors, I picked all the tiles and shit. I had no idea how it would look, but it actually looks really well. I, it's a really nice big bath, except I hate baths. Flossie, though she loves baths, so she'll be coming to visit me all the time with a bath like that. Oh my god, I hate, I just I hate them. I feel, they make me feel sick. Okay, so we're trying to cut George. Because basically, he says his hair goes so gross and scraggly. And I'm the only one who cuts it. Um, I mean, Emma's helping me out now. But we've given him this, like, frozen yogurt thing for dogs. So he's going to sit and do that. I'm going to attack him with the Furminator. Uh, this, like, takes off all the dead hair. Right, so this is his before. He's just a wee bit too long. And I'll show you the after. Look, a lot better than he did before. I mean, it's not very even because I'm not a professional at dog grooming. But I did my best. Oh, he... he he looks so much better. Okay, we are outside the massage place. I'm obviously not gonna bring him with me because I will be naked. Unless it's something you're interested in. I will let you know how the massage is. I'm so excited. I, I think it's like a full body one. Fun. Back. Oh, just back? Just back. Oh, okay, just back. Okay, I'm out of the massage now. It was absolutely lovely. Thanks, mum, for that. Very welcome, except I didn't get mine. I know, bless it. <laughs> all three of us booked an appointment, but they didn't quite get the memo because there was only two people working today, so only me and Emma got ours. But oh my god, like 
I literally, <laughs> you know the way whenever you lie in your front when you're getting a massage and you put your wee head through that wee hole? Well, I was, a, I think I must have been a wee bit too up high. Also, that's where we're going tonight. If you can see, it's like a wee terrace. Doesn't that look lovely? I was positioned a wee bit too high and my throat was on the ledge and I was literally, <laughs> I choked myself the entire time. And I could have just readjusted myself and moved on a bit, but that would have been way too awkward. So I was like, my face was going like purple. It was like throbbing because I was choking myself. <laughs> But, it's meant to be enjoyable. Anyway, before from that, it was lovely. <laughs> Look who's come round for a bit. He's going to rugby and I'm going out for dinner tonight, but he just wanted to see me because he loves me so much. John. What? I got sent these cookies from this um, place on Instagram called The Comfort Cookie Co. And I'm not going to have one yet because I am going out for dinner, but John. Are they vegan? They're vegan. John has a sweet tooth. He does. We all know it. So I invited him round so that I can give, let him try one of the cookies. We also got a new splashback today. What do you guys think? It's like a mirror. Like it used to just be like I think a white wall there, but now it's a mirror. Isn't that fun? I think you've gotten taller. You know. Dragon. Look at that height difference. And I'm tall. I'm I'm five seven. Cheers. Cheers. Very good. Is it good? good. Is it good? Very good. Really good. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. It's John approved. What's this? Gift. It's a cap. A nice one? No. I'm all ready to go out for dinner. Um, I've been this thing with my hair recently, so I just like straighten it normally. And then I take those two, these two front boots, I bring them like this, and then I bring the straightener down and around, and it just gives you like these like nice little like not curtain bangs, but I don't know I'll, if I'm doing it tomorrow, I'll show you to explain. I don't know, it just makes my hair look so, so different actually. It, it makes it look really blonde randomly. I'm wearing this dress from Motel Rocks. I'm obsessed with it. It's like got a wee cut at the side and these like long sleeves. Definitely a bit dramatic for where we're going. I've been loving blazers recently as well, and I don't have a black one on my own. Uh, so I asked my dad if I could borrow his blazer, and I actually really like the fit of it because it's obviously quite oversized. Okay, focus. Okay, I'll wait. This is like kind of what it kind of what it looks like with the blazer. Very cute, love it. So yeah, there's a wee hack as well. If you don't want to buy a blazer, ask your dad for his dinner jacket. I think this is what it's called. I didn't really vlog last night. I was actually exhausted because I had to wake up at seven that day because basically John has a job, like a, like a proper job. <laughs> Sorry. Why is that such a boring concept? It, it, he has to get up at like 7. So anytime we have a sleepover, I have to wake up at 7, which is really rough for me. I'm not used to it. So I was really, really tired at dinner. I only had like one cocktail and I was like, if I have any more, I'm literally going to smack my head off the table because I'll be so tired. But it's the next day. I'm going for lunch with my accountant. Fun. And then tonight, it's date night. I'm going to this nice restaurant with John. So I'll bring you along for that and like what I'm wearing and stuff. I wanted to put you on to this new perfume I got. So I always just got like, I'm a, I'm a strong believer in like, not expensive perfumes like i always used to get the stradivarius or essence one it's so good if you've ever been in the stradivarius and you think it smells really nice they use perfume or essence on everything and then i kind of moved on to like the zara perfumes the zara perfumes are really good to be fair but i don't know i just like they don't really last that long like you know when people like walk into your room and you can literally smell them like i just wanted that so i was like right i'm gonna i'm gonna actually spend a bit of money here and get an expensive perfume and then i looked at the prices of like expensive perfumes and they're like 250 quid and i I was like okay i'm not gonna be doing that but i found this one in selfridges and it was i think it was 80 which is expensive but it's like a good christmas present or birthday present uh, it is still very expensive but it's from ysl it is called manifesto elixir i'm almost certain don't quote me on that but this is what the bottle looks like when i tell you when i tell you it smells fucking amazing and it lasts all night like you will get compliments on your scent all night i love it but it is really expensive but it's like uh, it is kind of worth the money. I, I do notice a difference between that and a Wizara one. My skin is really, it's not, it's not as bad at all, but it is breaking out, like my forehead and all. Probably could be down to the several mental breakdowns I've been having. Okay, I'm back from lunch and I did not show you what I got because I was with my accountant. I was already gonna like whip out the camera and be like, hey guys, but I had a vegan breakfast. It was really nice. Like vegan sausages, avocado, beans, toast. It was really delicious. It's my brother's girlfriend's birthday, Beth. And that birthday, Beth, birth. <laughs> English um but it's, yeah it's Beth's birthday so I ordered these shoes for her present and oh my god how nice are they like I genuinely I want to keep them for myself so they're the Nike up tempos and like pastel yellow aren't they so cute like imagine these with denim shorts in summer just wanted to put you on them in case anyone wants to buy them they also match my nails so they just arrived so I thought I'd show you them but yeah off to go do some shopping you ready mom I'm ready 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 Woo! 
going to the shop and basically when we got Tigger we already had a cat but the cat did not like sharing the attention of anyone else so she went and lived, moved on to the bottom of the street and lived with these people at the bottom of the street and like she would always sometimes come up and I'd give her food and stuff she was called Indy and she was she was literally like 20 like she would not die and mum just told me she was mauled by a dog <laughs> she just sprung it upon me <laughs> it happened quite a while ago Oh, it happened on my birthday, didn't it? <laughs> because you told me that Indy died, but you never told me she was mauled by a dog. It's really horrible. And she was rushed to the vet and everything. Mom, stop! First stop. Just got all like the pillows, the duvets, and the mattress topper. I'm a firm believer. <laughs> I'm a firm believer in mattress toppers. They make your bed so much comfier. And for only like 30 quid. So now we're gonna go to Pets at Home and get like, I want like a, you know those like big pillow beds for dogs? I wanna get one of them for George because George will be living with me. I'm gonna get one of those big pillow beds so that he can sleep in my room because he gets lonely and he likes to sleep with me. But like sometimes it is a bit gross to sleep with him in bed because he sheds so much. So I'm gonna get a wee pillow for him to sleep on the floor. Okay, so we got this really big bed for George. And then we got this, this little cute monkey because he loves teddy bears. <gasps> Should I get a rabbit? No. Okay. <laughs> okay, just checking, just checking. I used to I used to come in a pet at home and scream and cry because my mom wouldn't let me leave with a rabbit or a, a Russian dwarf hamster. That was all I wanted when I was a child was a Russian dwarf hamster. Back from shopping, it's turning to gorgeously uh, the hot tub has arrived well, let them see the hot tub i think i showed you this la last year in my vlog it's literally the exact same one by the way just to clarify that's not my actual hot tub we were just renting it for the weekend because it was my sister's birthday also mum has been doing up the garden and she's put all these little plants in and lights bless her oh look at george sunbathing that's his spot there do you want to see your new bed do you want to i went out for dinner soon and like i did just eat a full fat bowl of one pot pasta i just I, like i don't care what time of the day it is i don't care if i've eaten five meals if there's one pot pasta near me i'll eat it i'm just having some tea that's something like i never really have in london but it's like something i just i have so much and i'm at home with tea but um i just can't get over this like i really i can't believe how much he is obsessed with this bed he will not get out of it if anyone needs a, a dog bed go to pets at home i think it's called like the chocolate uh, can you see there the chocolate that you need to get it because look, he is so content. Oh, I feel so weird. You know when everything just feels weird? Like I don't like the way my hair is touching my neck right now. I'm wearing these new motel trousers that I got there, Zo Zolea. Cause I had leather trousers, but they were really big and loose and I wanted like quite fitted ones. I got like white stitching. And then I'm just wearing my jaded jumper. Aww, it's so pretty in here. Ooh, baby. Got a wee Aperol spritz. Cheers. Me and John have finished at dinner and we decided to come to the beach and get a wee hot chocolate. Because Belfast is so small, you can be like from the city centre to the beach, to the countryside within like five minutes. But this is our view right now. We're just parked up and watching the sunset. My lip liner has completely like come off and I've got a, a ring of shit on my lips. Still a cute though. fucking crazy but i am free hey babes it's the next morning i did have a lie in which i was like really annoyed at myself at the start tigger please did your cat ever do that like literally rip up your carpet you know what you shouldn't be annoyed at yourself if you have a lie in because your body needs it i've just come home from john's and i'm actually fucking raging as well because because i had a lie in this morning over 18 vaccines were released in northern ireland and because i had a lie in i fucking missed it and there's literally no slots left so just fucked it at getting a vaccination hey, i was being dramatic i actually did end up getting a vaccination appointment and i got vaccinated two days ago mm. Go get vaccinated, kids. But anyway, yeah, I came home and my mum was like, yeah, you got a package. And I was like, what could this be? And then I was like, uh, East London Bakery. And I was like, I have not ordered anything from a bakery. I came home to this and it was from a motel. How fucking funny is that? The note was like, we stand. Look, John. I know, I think I like actually really good. They got my nose ring and all in it. I love motels so much. The girls there are so funny also oh my god how cute is this so i don't i can't quite think of what the connection is but someone who knows my dad's 
daughter watches my videos, I think. And she asked her dad to give my dad this wee necklace with my name on it. But how pretty is that? It says, well, I'm holding it the wrong way. It does say my name on it. I'm, that is the cutest necklace I've ever seen. Like the colors and all. Oh my God, I love it. Her Depop, which you can get these necklaces on, is called Maria underscore Donnelly 07. And she said, welcome home. That is so cute. Thank you, Maria. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the vlog now because I feel like I've been vlogging for so long. I don't actually know how long this vlog is going to be. It could be four minutes. It could be 20. Who knows? This is going up after my house tour, but um, I'm going to vlog kind of like my moving in day as well, which is tomorrow. And I will post that very soon and i love you all so much thank you for coming along with me to belfast i fucking love it here bye love you